Welcome back everybody. It's part two time. I have in these two separate packages because they came from different facilities what should be mounts that allow me to actually bolt the rhino rack onto the truck. That is in fact what they are. It comes with they're basically adapter brackets so that you can raise the rack up, level it with your roof rack like in different ways is so you can raise it off the roof more. I only got, I believe, 10 mil ones, so they'll have it sit about a centimeter up from the top of the rack, but this should be good. Looks like it's what I need, although I won't really know until I open it, so let's open it up. Not really much to show, it's just a plastic bag with some staples and cardboard to seal it. So what we got here is they're actually plastic, so not sure if I'm going to have to adjust them in any way, but looks like they'll be, yeah, they'll work, should work. May have to file a little bit of plastic off of them, but they should be able to mount into the channels using these little nuts, but which are specific to the system. I may have to get a washer because the head on the bolt is not very big. big and I think it might go straight through the holes pre-drilled in the rack that I'm planning on using. But if I have any issues, I'm at home. I have full access to the shop up in our barn and it'll be really simple and easy. This should only take a few minutes to do. And I shouldn't even have to look at the instructions provided because I'm not using them for that. But I'm just going to toss all the trash right into the bed and get started on this. I don't even think it's really worth showing the install process, but I'll show it to you after it's done so that in case you want to do a similar setup with your KB Voodoo rack or similar or rack system, and that it will work fine. So it's really neat because this has a certain direction it's supposed to go and they kind of just clip together making it a little bit more adjustable than it would be normally so that you can have uh, different levels of raising and lowering. But I'm just gonna go full because then I can raise the rack up using the tonneau cover mounts and make it pretty even to the roof rack. I think the roof rack is gonna sit a bit higher by maybe an inch, which I'm fine with because it's not the plan to have anything unless it's like a raft or a canoe or something that's touching both of them at the same time. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get the rack unbuckled since I strapped it on and I'll just flip the camera, it'll be easier, but I strapped it on very nicely and it even looks better from the top, believe it or not, of just strapped right along the rack here. And I did that in the front and the back for traveling sake with some bungee cords, it's, if you can see that down in there, the front ones are yellow and I'll have to tilt the camera here see it but can you kind of see the yellowness there and you should be able to figure out how I use the bungee cords but it's just a buffer so the metal's not rubbing on each other Whoop. either way I'm gonna undo this and bolt it on see you in like 20 ish minutes or for you a couple seconds so I had to search the barn for some washers. Each one needed a couple of washers of spacer and a washer to make the bolt not get sucked through the hole. But it worked out very slick. Took me a little jerry, well not even jerry rigging, and just a little creativity to get it to line up right. What I had to do is I had to bolt everything on and then put the rack onto the non-loose, or the non-tightened I should say, or loose nut and bolt combo and twist it in once the rack was sitting on top of it, pushing up with my hand and an uh, Allen key to do it. But here's what it looks like. And I think it turned out pretty slick. Got a little bit of a raise there. Oop, hit the camera. Put it in here, you can actually see. But got a little bit of a raise. It's like that on every corner. It's not quite perfect, but it works for my uses and it's securely on there. I can shake the truck just like I did with the rack, like this, and the truck just 
shakes, nothing's loose. It's not going anywhere. I'm super impressed with the Rhino Rack. It came, it was easy to put together. Here, the only thing that was missing was a single washer from the kit, which I think is just an error with the machine or the count. And it's what I get for buying it unassembled and building it myself in my grandparents' kitchen. But anyway, I know this is a shorter video, so we got a bonus item here that I'm going to install. So, in this box right here, I have from those box, I have a fuel packs kit from Roto Packs, same company. Fuel packs are their cheaper ones with a five year warranty versus their 10 year warranty. And I figured, why not? The rack was looking a little barren and without any bikes on it. And this should fit right between the light pods. I also have a shovel and ax mount from Smittybelt coming. So I think that should be here in the next few days, but I'm gonna grab a knife and let's open this. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't go to face track and mess it up right now, but got my Kirsha Emerson knife out, and it's a box within a box, of course. So, double secure, but we can get rid of the big box, toss it on the ground for now. Just keep on unboxing. Somewhere in here is a Rotopax that's supposed to come with two Rotopax fuel packs mounts, which it does. It's just a typical Jerry mount. This is actually, I'm impressed. It's a lot higher build quality than I was originally thinking it would be for a jerry can, but it's actually really thick. Dropping my knife, and looks like it will do the job well. So first things first with the row packs is I'm gonna have to grab the bolts before I toss the box and pull off the brackets, and they should fit right on my KB Voodoo, but eh, maybe the light pods will have to be remounted or adjusted, but it should fit. I'm going to now try this out and let's see. So I know at least one should go there and it doesn't quite seem to be like it's gonna fit, which is really annoying because this rack is supposed to be so modular. I've had so many issues with this rack Heck, I'm not going to say I regret buying it, but I definitely think the company, which now doesn't even make these anymore, this is the premium version, they went all aluminum like a few months after I got this, which they said was going to be their big new thing, and I actually did not get any responses when I was complaining about powder coating and getting, in, getting the rack replaced, so that's why I actually went ahead and spray painted it, it with some bed liner coating. Otherwise, though, it looks like I am going to have to figure out some way of mounting this because it doesn't quite line up with any of the holes, which means I can either drill through or just add some brackets, which it looks like is going to be the easier thing to do. I do have another set of these sides, though, that just never got painted because they were so badly bubbling. The company did send me those. So I might go see if those are built with any other mounting holes because they're actually a lot thicker metal. Oh, these ones are actually from their new ones, which are not quite as thick of metal, which is kind of disappointing that they are not as strong and a lot more flexible. So I'll be back once I figure that out, but we'll get the fuel packs mounted up today. So what I ended up doing was just going to the passenger side and bolting it to the lower or slot here and then what I'm going to do is paint the other ones or just stick them on because I probably won't have enough time to paint them and just take one of those other ones and stick it right on below which should allow me to bolt it right on shouldn't be any issues there and then it will be even more secure it's secure right now I don't think I'd put any fuel in it and weight it down until I got the other one on there er, for safety purposes, but it will stay on there right now perfectly fine. I'd also like to figure out some way of locking it because I did not get the locking ones with it. It only comes with two normal ones, which are labeled with the Fuel Packs logo versus the uh, Roto Packs logo. But 
anyway uh, thanks for following along and continue watching vlog 9 like share or comment uh, yeah I'll see you tomorrow